I'm Miss Megan. I'm so glad we can all be here together today. I brought my friends again and we are having breakfast together. Did you eat breakfast today? On the count of three, shout it out and tell me what you ate. One, two, three. That is awesome. I bet you're eating some yummy things for breakfast. My friends are here with me again today because we are talking about our very best friend. Do you remember who is our friend? Jesus is our friend. In fact, he's your friend and my friend. I love that Jesus is our friend. In fact, I love it so much that I wanna sing about it. Will you join with me while we sing and dance and praise Jesus? Let's go. Everywhere I go, I know you go with me everywhere I am. I stand in your love for me. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. You are the one who's by my side. Doesn't matter what, doesn't matter where, doesn't matter when. And Jesus is my friend, my friend forever and ever. Doesn't matter what, doesn't matter where, doesn't matter when. And Jesus is my friend, my friend forever and ever. My Wow, you did a great job. I hope you enjoy singing and dancing as much as my friends and I do. Speaking of my friends, we have a special verse that comes from the Bible that we wanna share with you. You might remember it from last time. It goes like this. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. Wow, can you help me say it now? Great. Let's say the Bible verse together with our movements. Are you ready? Say, a friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. Let's do it one more time. Ready? A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. Great job, everyone. Jesus loves us all the time. That means he loves us even if we forget to love him or love our friends. Today we have one last story to hear about Jesus and his friends. Are you ready to hear it? Okay, let's hear from Ollie. Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have.
Mr. Snuffles, these goldfish you brought are just the best. Yum, yum. What did you say, Bear Bear? Would you like some more graham crackers? Of course. Wasn't that just the best day for a picnic? I'm so glad we got to have it when the sun came out. Aren't you, Mr. Snuffles? Oh, and do you remember when Harper said the funniest thing? <laughs> and then there was a the big surprise. Who? Who? Hey, look who it is. It's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Who? Who? I see you have some fluffy friends with you. Hi, Ollie. I was just having a picnic with some of my fluffy friends. It made me remember our last picnic and the big surprise when my friend Sam showed up. It was so long since I saw him. It was so much fun being with him again. Picnicking with your friends is fun. That's true. I have a story about a very special picnic for you. Listen up now. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Stormy Jane, breakfast time. Oh, <laughs> good morning, girl. You're always so excited to get your breakfast. There you go. Oh, hey friends, it's breakfast time for Stormy, which reminds me of another story about our good friend Jesus. And yes, it has to do with breakfast. Shall we tell it, Stormy? Uh -oh. Remember, we talked about the very sad thing that happened to our good friend Jesus? He died and was put in a tomb. But did he stay in there? No, he came back just like he promised. It was such good news. Jesus is alive. Well, not long after that, some of Jesus' friends were fishing when they saw Jesus standing on the beach. They were so excited to see him. Show me your excited face. <laughs> yes, very good. If I saw Jesus standing on the beach, I would be so excited too. Jesus told his friends to come and have a breakfast picnic with them right there on the beach. Jesus had come to see his friends because he wanted them to know how much he loved them and that he would always be their friend forever and ever. Jesus' friends were so, so excited to see Jesus. They hadn't seen him in a while and it was so special to spend time with him again because Jesus is such a good friend. And Jesus loves you so much and he wants to be your friend forever. How awesome is that? <laughs> yes, it's very awesome. Jesus is such a good friend. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who is your friend? Jesus is my friend. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is your friend? Jesus is my friend. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is a good friend, and he wants to be your friend forever, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Jesus surprised the disciples, and they were so happy to spend time with them again. Jesus is such a good friend. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I had a lot of friends at my picnic, but Jesus is the best friend. He wants to be my friend forever, and he wants to be your friend forever, too. See you next time. Bye! So, uh, Wow, I love that story. Right after Jesus died, his friends couldn't see him and that made them sad. Can you show me your sad face? But in the story we heard about today, Jesus came to see them and made them breakfast and that made them so happy. Can you show me your happy face? Great job. Jesus came to see his friends because he knew they were sad and missing him. He wanted to talk to them and make sure they were okay. He talked with them and made them some breakfast. Do you remember what they ate? Fish. 
Raise your hand if you like fish. I have a fun activity for us that involves fish. Don't worry, we won't have to eat any. Here in my bin, I have a bunch of fish. I wanna find all the colorful fish and match them up with their friends. Can you help me? Great. When I catch a fish, I want you to yell out the color. Are you ready? Great. Okay, first one. Do you know what color this is? Purple. All right, next one. Blue. Orange. Orange. What color is this one? Blue. What color is this one? Green. Purple, have we seen any purple ones yet? Green. Green. What color is that one? Orange. And purple. Great job, everyone. You are so good at fishing. And look, every fish has a friend. I wanna pray this morning and thank Jesus for being such a good friend. Can you pray with me? Great. Jesus, thank you so much for being our friend. Thank you for always being with us, no matter if we're scared, sad, lonely, happy, no matter what we're going through, you're always our friend. Thank you so much. We love you. In your name we pray, amen. Okay, everyone, remember, who is our friend? Jesus is our friend. I had so much fun learning about Jesus with you. I've got to go finish breakfast with Lammy and Mr. Bear, so I'll see you next time. Bye!